Hello, welcome back to these videos from Teacher Kent or Professor Kent, as I teach uh, from two years old until college age, even adults. So, of course, this is part of our sequel where I teach idioms, fun with idioms every time. So we're going to learn some idioms today. I'll show you the pictures first, and I'll tell you a story. Then we'll do a quiz and stay till the end. Uh, stay till the end while I give you a quiz and uh, the test of what we learned today, of course. So here are some idioms we're going to learn today. Fun with idioms, you can see here. So, of course, uh, before I start, make sure to like below and give us a question or a comment and also share these with your friends and family. So, of course, we're going to learn some several today. For example, here we have, you can see the picture. I was given the axe at work today. You can see he's <laughs> literally given an axe. Okay, here. Uh, I was held up in traffic, held up. You can see this is the literal meaning of held up held up like at gunpoint. And then of course here we have uh, every day, I'm sorry, everybody was told about it, but I was left in the dark, in the dark. So this is again, literal meaning. And the last one here, I was blown away uh, by the mechanics repair bill, blown away, <laughs> to blow away. Again, literal meaning. So I'll tell a story real quick. Before I tell the story though, I wanna show our mini quiz here on the whiteboard. Yes, here we go. So, of course, these are the sentences I just used with the pictures. So, listen to my story and try to figure out which uh, phrase, which idiom matches which. So, of course, we're working on these. Sorry, let me make sure I have, uh, here we go. Uh, the axe, given the axe. Uh, uh, sorry, I should say given the axe, of course. And here, left, left in the dark. And, of course, held up. What does held up mean? And blown away. So, listen to the story. You can try to guess. So, uh, can you believe it? I was held up in traffic today. It was busier than I expected. So, I was an hour late for work. Really? What happened? Uh, what did the boss do? Well, uh, the boss gave me the axe at work because I was so late. I couldn't believe it. Uh, I found out later everybody knew about it, but I was left in the dark. I had no idea I was going to be given the axe today. So I was really blown away uh, by her decision when she told me. Okay, thank you for listening. So let's see, did you get, maybe that'll help you guess what these words are. And now let me see, let me change to a different color. We'll say blue, pink. Hmm. Uh, okay, maybe we'll say brown then, brown. Okay, I was given the ax today at work today. Can you guess what does this mean, given the ax? Of course, if you were paying attention, he said, my boss gave me the X because I was an hour late. So, yes, it is. I was fired. How about number two? So don't forget to write in the comments, what do you think number two is? Number two, everybody was told about it, but I was left in the dark. Left in the dark. What does it mean? Let's say I, that's right, I think I didn't know about it, right? Yes, I didn't have a clue. I was left in the dark. Like, ah, uh, my roommate and my best friend were dating, but I was left in the dark, so I didn't know about it. Uh, I was held up in traffic. As you remember, the picture held up means literally to be held up means when at gunpoint somebody is robbing you. But, of course, in this context, not the literal meaning, but the we say the figurative meaning in English, what does held up mean? Yes, here, I was stuck with something or at something, doing something. I was held up. So, hey, why were you late for the movie, watching the movie with me? Like, I so said, if you're waiting for your friend for a movie theater, hey, why were you late? Oh, I was held up at work. I had extra paperwork. Or, okay, in this case, I was held up in traffic. There was too much traffic. Or I was held up with my homework, so I couldn't call you. So held up means I was stuck doing something else, so I couldn't do it. And the last one, yeah, I was blown away. You remember he said he was blown away by the fact that everybody knew it, but he didn't. So, of course, blown away means I was surprised. Let's see, here we go. Yes, I was surprised by it. So, as I promised, now, yes, so make sure to write, take notes. So, the only way to learn is if you're writing them down. So, of course, given the axe means uh, fired in American English. Left in the dark, of course, didn't know about something. Held up, of course, stuck at something. And blown away, of course, means surprise. So now with these, as I promised at the beginning, I will give you a quiz now. So in the comment section below, please write down what you think the answers to these quiz questions are. So number one, are you ready? Uh, so by the way, I always 
get these from side by side. This is our junior high and high school English class books. But overseas, sometimes in America, uh, my wife actually did this book when she was in college in America for a homestay. Okay, let's see. Number one. Uh, so please write in the comment section below. Do you think number one is A, B, C, or D? So there'll be four choices for each. Number one. I was blown away by the cost of the dinner. So A. I don't. I know. It was very windy. B. I was surprised too. C. I didn't enjoy it either. D. I also thought it was delicious. So if you need to listen again, rewind and listen again. Number two, my bus was held up by the parade. A, my bus was stuck in traffic too. B, yes, uh, I saw your bus in the parade. C, I'm glad you arrived early. D, I agree, it was a colorful parade. So again, which is the best response? So again, please rewind if you need to listen again. Number three, since. Uh, so three, since you didn't call me, I was left in the dark about our plans. So A, yes. So, so A, yes, it was dark when I called. B, I'm sorry the lights went out. C, I'm sorry you didn't know. And D, I'm sorry it was dark. Okay, number four. Tom was given the ax last week. A, that's wonderful news. B, I'm sorry. He's very happy. Uh, I'm sure he's very happy. Sorry, B. C, that's a very unusual gift. Yeah, X, unusual gift. Or D, what a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Like, oh, so sad. Okay, so again, if you need to listen to any of those, rewind and listen again. Remember to write in the comment section, what do you think? One, two, three, four. What do you think? Is it A, B, C, or D, each one? So please write down. And so that was, again, Fun with Idioms. I hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe and watch other teaching videos here. And over here, watch some popular videos on our channel. Until next time, have a good day and see you in tomorrow's lesson. See you.